Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. Welcome to my garage. But today I have this 8 inch by 24 inch canvas and I am thinking of doing another Dutch pour with bloom recipe. Uh, last time when I did that I felt like of course Dutch pour the paints are lighter uh, when you mix them but with all these chemicals and base, bases um, the, the bloom uh recipe or the bloom mixes are a little bit thicker therefore it's very difficult to, for them to free flow when you blow them so that's my hardest challenge i faced also one more thing when you are doing dutch pour you don't spin them or you don't spread them whatever you have um like whatever your blow dryer did on your blue on your dutch pour that's it and then you can modify or adjust here and there a little with bloom if you do not spin or spread there is a huge chance of getting all the cracks so what i am doing first of all i am spreading my base coat as thin as possible because otherwise if i have thicker base and i did dutch pour i cannot spin and i will get bunch of cracks and creases so that's my first goal when i layer my base coat making sure that i have very thin layer the base coat that I'm using, it's from Sherwin Williams color to go. And the name of the color is Steel Gray. Um, I find that Sherwin Williams color to goes are a little bit thinner than other base coats. So I hope it will help me as far as uh, spreading it thin goes. And oh, I see this little lump. So I have to clean up the lump and the corners and then we'll start layering our paints usually when i edit my video i kind of fast forward or cut some of these uh, prep before i start so what happens is when you guys try what i'm doing and you will not get the same results because you are thinking oh it's it goes really fast so on this one i intentionally am keeping all the uh, real footage and i'm not going to fast forward if you want to see uh, fast forward you can always do it on the video so this shows how much time it would take me to make sure that there's very little paint on my surface
I would like to share a couple of tips with you. When you do this, make sure you have a napkin or a paper towel in your other hand. And in between every stroke, you wipe your skewer. Otherwise, you are going to cross-contaminate your paints. So you don't want to mix your paints one with the other one every time you put uh, or draw a st uh, stroke on your uh, modification. So that's very important. The second one is... When you modify, don't push your skewer all the way to the canvas every single time because then when it dries, sometimes it looks like that they are spreading out and the lines in between the designs get thicker. So um, make sure that your skewer doesn't go all the way to the um canvas little try to keep it as light like don't push it too hard basically that's what i'm trying to say i don't know how to explain it now let me clean up all the corners and the sides after that i will put it away for drying and also i need to show you up close it's so beautiful i'm actually very happy with this piece so this is the dried result as you can see it dried pretty nicely i'm happy um little bit of separations see on this uh what is it these areas with the um base coat but that's i would say minimal because of the fact that I did not spin to spread my paint or um, stretch. So here we are. I love the yellow and the, the, how it is popping out of the other colors. So thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, bye.